here in Albuquerque, dude, there is a big... There's a big witchcraft scene. There's a lot of witchery going on, and I'm not even joking. Like, there's just like a... Yeah, a witchcraft scene, man, and a lot of the artists were not really artists. They're more like craftsmen, and they're selling all their stuff. You know, tarot cards, crystals, all of it, dude. All that stuff, all that new age stuff. And and a lot of them, of those that community, are self-proclaimed witches, you know? Literally. Like, that's their thing, that's their... Dude, whatever. No judgment on them. God, God forgive them, save them, open their eyes to the truth. But, um... I just, I, it does bug me, man. And I'm not mean to witches. <laughs> dude, <laughs> that's so insane. I, I'm not mean to witches, dude. I, I'm nice to everyone I meet, dude. But, uh, God's opened my eyes about a lot of stuff. And, like I said, before my relapse and, and getting sober, before then, I literally just looked at witchcraft and Satanism as like, oh, that's silly, that's cute, that's funny that you guys do that. And, like, wrote it off as like, you know, those guys are insane. But, like, um, in the last three years, I've done research, I, well, research, mostly, like, watching interviews from ex-witches who've become Christians or whatever, you know? people co who come out of new age and get into or well i don't want to say get into like christianity is just another thing to get into because it's the way the truth the life but you know they come out of um um witchcraft paganism uh cult stuff new age all that and they, they get saved and their eyes are opened so i love to watch these interviews of these people you know what i mean to see like what's going on and I watched one about two weeks ago, an interview of an ex-witch who became a Christian. And uh, she said that, that she was a Satanist. She she practiced for like 20 years. And it started off as like, she said Wiccan or Wicca. And she was like, it was very like light magic. And Wic a lot of Wiccans, she said, don't even really consider themselves like witchcraft or, or magic. It's just like a nature thing. She's like, but as I like, you know, went down this path, I, it just got deeper and deeper and darker, and darker, darker and darker until I was on, into full fledged Satanism. Dude. And she said that she would do rituals where she would cut herself, bleed into ritual bowls, <clears throat> pray to Satan. She had an altar in her, in her home set up to Satan. Um, and just dark stuff, man. Really dark stuff. Like, her story's even crazier than that, you could imagine. And um, she said this, and it stuck with me. She said that, why do you think we, like, get into it and do it? It's because it works. Um, and she also said, but it's transactional. She said, Satan's transactional. So you have to give him something if you want him to do something. You know, and this is just dark spiritual stuff, guys. This is the complete antithesis of God and the light. Because of Jesus and the Spirit of God, we have direct direct access to the light. All it requires is a humble heart, getting on your knees, repenting of your sins, saying you believe in Jesus and meaning it. You know what I mean? And th that's it. That is really it. And of course, you can have other people pray for you and lay hands on you and all this stuff. But... That's the beauty of this, this system that God set up. Every man can get on his knees, humble himself, and approach God. Every day, every second, every hour, whenever need be. Um, driving in your car, you know, you don't literally have to get on your knees. Sometimes I, li I like to just literally get on my knees as a, a symbol to remind me that I am humbling myself. And that's really what it does stand for, guys. Um, and so I'm conscious of that when I pray. And so my eyes have been opened in the last three years, man. And because I was raised Christian, I always shunned that stuff in general. Because um, I was like, well, just in case. But again, I didn't really even think twice of it. I thought those guys are silly. And and then if any any time, like the only time I maybe was would encounter it is um, like if someone's like, can I read your tarot or what? You know, can I read your tarot card? Well, I don't know, dude. Can I read? Can I read you? 
And then I had a few friends throughout my life who wanted to like do the Ouija board in my home. No, I'm good. I'll pass. Thank you. Thank you. So I didn't really believe in it, but I still was like, since I grew up in the church enough to be like, uh, just in case, no. And I'd always joke with my friends and be like, I have so many problems. The last thing I need is to open up a portal to hell in my home. You know what I mean? I have to do taxes, dude. No, I don't want a ghost haunting my home, dude. You crazy? You know what I mean? I'm like, I have work at 8 tomorrow. I can't be up all night with a ghost, dude. <laughs> Praise God. that I was never drawn to that. But uh, again, I would argue that my addiction to marijuana, my addiction to alcohol, and my fornicating... It's, it's a form of the dark arts, like in a different way. I'm not consciously like, oh, I'm seeking Satan, 666, blood, Satan rules. But I'm still like inadvertently serving him. And that's the thing about Satan, guys. <laughs> Think about this. There's only one truth. There's a million other paths to choose from. That's another reason why I know this faith is real. I know this thing's real, man. I believe in truth and there's only one. And then there's a million wrong ways to go in life. And that's why we have to like line up our crazy lives, have to line up with the perfect life of Jesus the best we can. Like Jesus's life is like a perfect line. And then our lives are like this and we get closer and we walk with him and then we go off course and all that. The goal is to try to get those lines like, you know, as close parallel to each other as we walk. And we're gonna stumble and we're gonna go off the path and we're gonna screw up. And that's why Jesus loves us and died for our sins though so and we can just get up and say you know what i'm off the path i'm getting far from the path whatever i screwed up time to get back to the path um trust me dude i know i've done it for the majority of my adult life <laughs>